This is 95.3 Business Now. Welcome back, everyone. Nigeria's Vice President Kashim Shatima on Monday commissioned the first integrated power plant in Nigeria situated in Osisioma industrial area of Aba in Abia State. The 188 megawatt geometric power plant was inaugurated alongside Aba Power Limited, which is expected to distribute electricity from the new plant to nine out of the 17 local government area in Abia State. A lesson to Dr. Ayodeleoni, energy expert and partner at Bloomfield law practice to discuss this landmark development in Nigeria's past sector. Good morning to you. Thank you for coming through, sir. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, how significant is this 188 megawatt ABA geometric power plant inauguration? Okay, it's quite significant because when you consider that a megawatt and um, the rule of thumb around a megawatt being at least a thousand ohms if you do that much by um by the capacity of the plant you know what it is and in this case we're talking about industrialization and an industrial orb and when you consider that um, ec- um electricity um, thrives on economics of scale instead of you having different um, factories small micro, small, and medium-scale enterprises own their own generation. Self-generation is almost four times more expensive than when you have um, several people coming together to use a power plant. So imagine that cost drops by four, uh, by um, multiples of four, one, two. You also have to consider that that's increased the cost of production. You have to also um, re- will now reduce what should be a high cost of production where you also consider that over 86% of Nigerian businesses are micro, small, or medium-scale enterprises. So imagine what that scale is in an area that is primarily industrial. So all of this goes to show the impact of that plan. In terms of reducing costs, we speak about um, the Naira getting devalued as a result of um, pressure on the Naira. Once you have your people becoming more productive, you can have a 24-hour economy. You can then be able to produce more, and your people can rely more on um, your own production rather than imports. And ultimately, that would play a role. I'm not saying it will be uh, substantial, but it's the beginning of um, improving state of, of the economy. Because remember, there are factors of production and if you do not have power, um, then you have a problem. Then your cost of production inc- increases, then the multiplier effect. Then also imagine having a 24-hour economy. There will be new businesses that would come from that. And as I stated um, before, you have a scenario where everyone is self-generating. It's six, over 6% of businesses in Nigeria oh. are micro, small, and medium-scale enterprises. So all of this goes, goes to show the impact that plant will have, both directly and indirectly. So, so, so let me let me take that uh, a little bit further from, from your comment there. How would this energy facility help to catalyze uh, economic and trade development in the commercial city of Aba, Nigeria's southeast in general? Okay. You know that if, if, if prices drop, more people are one likely able to afford it. Two, if you have um, if you have reduced cost of production, production is likely to increase. More people are likely to get involved in that sort of um, it, more, more people are likely to get involved in trade and commerce. You are likely to improve your logistics in in it from production to end user. You understand. So once your cost of production drops, it just catalyzes so many other things. And once you are even able to have a 24 hour economy, it improves your overall economy and security. And you recall that if more people you are able to get there to work, the less crimes you have. You understand? So it's, it goes beyond just the direct impact, even the indirect impact of um, new jobs in, the, in those environments. Um, people are even be able to, people will begin to even create new industries that did not exist. And when you look at the value chain of um, gas generation, 
distribution. You begin to see people who will, be, who will even new um, guys who are doing metering, guys who will provide IT services. It's just going to it's just going to create different uh, new industries, different new opportunities that could have been there, but because power wasn't available or there was no access or everyone has to, had to self-generate and you can only do so ma so many hours yourself every day unlike a situation where it the costs drop substantially say by by multiples of four so that's that's what we see uh, beyond uh, everything else that uh, said. so do, do you think that the geometric power plan represents how much independent private sector investment is actually urgently needed in the energy sector of the country oh yes it's it's a good example and it's, it's an example in 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 being determined yeah i, I understand this has been on the conceptualization happened about 20 years ago and then there was a dispute for what nine years it shows the doggedness in spite of the challenges in the country and, and it's also a signal to the government for ease of doing business the government needs to do much more now around the ease of doing business if we must see progress in the country i think that it, it shows that if um, the support for private sector the private sector in this country can change things all right uh dr ayodele oni energy expert and partner at bloomfield law practice we appreciate your time this morning on business now sir and do have a profitable week yes thank you very much you too I am Arami Day for Lauren Show, and that's your business now for today, Tuesday, the 27th of February. Do have a great day ahead, everyone. It's bye for now. This is 95.3 Business Now.